What's up guys, the Amigo Boys here and I am back with yet another crafting video. If you wonder why I've been uploading for the past, I don't know, like 10 days or something, maybe 2 weeks, it's because I was on uh, vacation in the United States, but I finally got home from that, so I'm gonna try and make some more videos for you guys again. Now, today what we're gonna try to craft is, we're back in standard, um, because, yeah, I don't really like Blight League to be honest, so I'm just running around in standard and shit but what we're doing here is I got um, acquired this kind of amazing claw here with explode explosion is really really powerful um, especially on physical weapons as you can scale it because the explosion is also physical damage um, so stuff like hatred extra ass will actually also work on the explosion part which is really really strong so what I thought is I saw this base on trade site and um, with attack speed implicit as well, Imperial Claw is the best claw base by far. So um, I've managed to snag this one, I can't remember exactly how much I paid, but I think it was a little bit less than 100 exalts. And um, which, you know, is a lot, but again, this base is really good, so yeah. Um, it was, I, I think it was a good deal to be honest. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try and craft this to make a really good physical claw, either with um, hits can't be evaded or some other kind of stuff on it so the problem is though that this one is only idle 80 this means it cannot hit um, the T1 um, percent roll and the T1 hybrid percent roll um, meaning dictators and merciless is not possible however we can still go for emperors which is um, so up to 74 percent on the hybrid instead of 79 and tyrannical which is 169 percent instead of 179 there's not really a big difference but it does limit you to in terms of the power but again if this one was an 83 base this would probably cost upwards of several mirrors um, because it's the best cloud base out there at the moment I think I've never seen anything that's better than this one with explosion mod as well so what are we gonna do in this video I know it's a little bit of a, it was a little bit of a long talk here introduction but I've acquired two tabs of jagged fossils in uh, one socket resonators and there's 12 by 12 meaning 144 in each aka 288 jacks in total so we are just gonna do those and then I'm gonna PM this guy uh. yeah so let's just go into it guys let's go and um, yeah so we kinda want we need flaring no matter what this the T1 flat roll and then we either want a tyrannical or you know the Emperor's uh, mod and then if we hit the hybrid oh did you see this one is a is a troll mod every time you see about the 70 percent ish and with high flat it could be hybrid but it's not because there's no accuracy on it but yeah so if I hit the T1 or in this case T2 hybrid and uh, flaring I'm gonna craft percent on it and if I hit tyrannical and flaring I'm gonna craft on um, either his can be evaded or penetration or something like that. So yeah, let's go here. The good thing though when you're crafting clothes like this is you can pretty much just look at the physical number, like the top end physical damage, which is 95 in this case here. Um, it needs to be around 200 or higher in order to be like the T1 flat and hybrid so anything less than 200 is just an easy skip because yeah I'm crafting a physical claw so no matter what I'm gonna need at least that amount of damage so it makes it a little bit easier to identify whether you might have something good And I don't know, I've probably already used almost a thousand on it, but I didn't really record that because I was <laughs> kind of tired when I did it. But, um, yeah, we're going to just try to keep going. See, this is 184, and it's it's not even like it's tier 4, tier 4 flat, so, you know. But, yeah, physical weapons are probably the hardest thing to craft and um, yeah so 
is I don't expect to hit this anytime soon, but it's more like a side project. Um, it's not really probably gonna get mirrored that many times anyways if I make it. It's just more gonna be like a niche thing and for personal use. I know a few friends that might want to be interested, but apart from that, not really. So this one here, it is tier 7 hybrid, which is just at not at all good enough. I hate you can't shift click these uh these resonators. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> so we did hit the no we didn't hit a tyrannical because it's a hybrid on top. Yeah, not again. This is a 209. This could or 203. It could probably be close to what a flaring and good hybrid would look like in terms of DPS. The worst part is if I hit the two mods I want, I'm still gonna have to annul off the the other prefix uh, prefix if it applies on it too. Like if there's another prefix on it. So here we have emperors and a shitty flat tier five flat. Damn. If that was flaring, we would be done. One seventy something, one eighty something. Just looking at the top end physical damage. Two oh five. Huh. Oh. That good enough. Almost one tab done here. Ouch. <laughs> wow, 144 down. This one is. Yeah, you can't right click it if you have it public. Uh -huh. 195 top end come on <laughs> the one before had tyrannical but again that's the worst part, right? The mods are so rare and you need to have them combined with each other. So it's not enough to have one, like this one, for example, tyrannical, but it's only tier 3 flat. Which sucks. <laughs> it's only two tiers higher, but. Yeah, that's what we need. Again, no, this is not tyrannical, it's actually emperors. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Oh, this one could have been close as well. This could this is T two flat. It could have been seventy one percent would be Emperor's uh tier, but again it's not a hybrid, it's just a standalone mod. This one is flaring and then tier six hybrid and then the other one on top. Damn. 
Uh, we're getting there. We're getting closer towards our goal. Come on, man! <laughs> oh, 200% <laughs> or higher physical is actually pretty rare, but yeah, it's bad, so it's 1 to 3 physical damage, tier 9, you know, we, this is unusable, it, it, it's useless. But hitting that with flaring though, that would be amazing. Speaking of flaring... This is probably going to be a series in many parts to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I spent all my luck on the ring I crafted last time. But I mean, I ain't complaining. I'm so happy I hit that ring. And, uh... Yeah. Like, if it's gonna take more currency than this one, then I'm just still gonna be happy, to be honest. Yeah, not even close. Tier 4 flat, so. Sorry if I'm like moving this one around all the time, but it's just to. to, you know, not have to drag the mouse like all over the tab. So move this one a little bit up, so. Ah, uh, yo, this is annoying, man. 236, that could have probably have been T1 uh, top end if it was higher flat and lower percent. So, yeah, item is dead. 288 um, fossils later, and it's still dead. So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Also, on a side note, if you have any suggestions for any type of content you would like to see on this channel, let me know, because at the moment I'm kind of just brainstorming ideas on what to do. I think maybe I'm going to make some another of those iconic build videos, but they just take so much time to make, so it's going to... Yeah, I really need to <laughs> see if you guys actually would like to see that before I make one. And then I have some other ideas, like just some random game balls, divination card turn-ins, kind of like, um, you know, our good old... MB Extreme does it, um, something like that along those lines. Um, since you know I have currency standard to waste, and um, yeah, feel free to just suggest anything. To be honest, if you want to see that on my channel, leave it down below in the comment. And yeah, hope you guys had a wonderful day. Stay tuned for more content as always, and peace out.